Just one more push. Ah! Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. So would you like to hold your son? What? Ew, no. It's gonna get my clothes dirty. Sir, he, he's your son. He's a trillionaire now. He must learn to live like one. And since I'm such a busy guy, it's up to you to take care of this kid right now. We're gonna be late for our private jet to Fiji. Aren't you even gonna name uh, him? No, you can just fill me in later. Sir, wait! I'm just your butler! I don't know how to raise a child, but I guess I'll have to do my best. What am I gonna name you? Noah? I like that name. Hey, yo, this airport is trillionaires only! Sir, this baby is a trillionaire. I don't care who he is! Now get out of here! The Joneses just left on their how jet! How dare you! How dare you! Shut up and get out of here! Go! Now that it's my job to look out for you, I'll protect you no matter what. Whoa, what the heck? Give us your money, Mr. Jones! I am not Mr. Jones. I'm just his butler. Just hand over the car, then! No, there's a baby inside. You can't. Must be that trillionaire's baby. Would be ashamed if he got kidnapped. Yeah, we could make billions if we return him to his parents. <laughs> ha, no one's taking Noah! Ha, -ya! Ugh, these criminals will never learn. Our first school talent show. So many people out there watching. Really hope mom and dad are here. Noah, you suck at singing. Talent shows are for people who are actually talented. I have talent, Lucas. I want to show my parents what I can do. Your parents won't show up, Noah. Face it, you're on your own. Next, Next up, up trillionaire, trillionaire Noah, Noah Jones. Jones. All right, you can do this, Noah. M Mom and Dad aren't here. Ah, it's all right, Noah. Just do what you can. We came here to sing. It's time to show them. Oh, oh wait, my voice. Oh, Oh no! Well, that was terrible! Oh, you suck! Get off the stage! Lightheaded! My heart! It's, it's racing! I can't! I can't breathe! I can't! I can't! It's okay, Noah. You just had a little panic attack. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Now everyone's gonna make fun of me even more. I can't stand those rich kids at the private school. Dad, why didn't you come to my talent show today? I was supposed to sing and you guys didn't show up. It was important to me. Did you win? If not, then I suppose I didn't miss anything important at all, did I? You don't get it, do you? It's one a normal family. You care about things that matter to me. Well, you don't have a normal family, Noah. You have a trillionaire family. You have it all. Stop complaining. Look, Noah, I gotta go, okay? I've got a lot of business to take care of. But, uh, you know, good luck with your thing that you had there. Sorry it didn't work out. My first time back here since the talent show. Maybe no one's gonna remember. Well, look who decided to show up. It's the kid who thinks he's something special. Well, guess what? You're not. Yeah, a kid thinks he's better than us because he's a trillionaire. We're all rich here. I am a millionaire. So you're nothing special, Noah. Seriously. It doesn't matter. Money doesn't make me who I am. You're just a freak. That's why your parents hate you. I'm not a freak, and my parents don't hate me. Then why weren't they at the talent show, huh? Or the science fair? It seems like your family's never around for anything you do. Well, they're just busy with their own lives. At least they have lives, unlike you. Oh, that's it. Huh? Hey, stop it. Who's gonna make me? You. Take this. Oh, I'll see you in class, Noah. You're just a loser. Man, I don't want to deal with this today. I'm out of here. Man, I never skipped school before. I hope I don't get into too much trouble. Give us your lunch money, loser! I don't have any lunch money. I'm poor. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. He said he doesn't have any money. Who do you think you are? Trevor, I think he's another loser who wants a knuckle sandwich. Picking on someone doesn't make you tough. It makes you a weak loser. I will show you who's weak. Get out! <laughs> Wally, look! This idiot's rich! <laughs> Let's take this and get out of here. Sorry about that. And I tried my best. It's okay. That was actually kind of cool. Those guys pick on everyone. They're the worst. I'm sorry about your money, though. Yeah, don't worry about it. Money comes and goes. It's important to standing up for what's right. Yeah. I I'm Ted, by the way. Maybe we can hang out after school. There you are, you rich little idiot. You can't skip school. And if you do, you can't let me find you talking to poor people. Stop it, Finkelberry. You're the one that's poor. Stop making fun of my friends. Okay, maybe. Shut up. Whatever. Come on. Let's go. Let's hang out later, man. Yeah, definitely. You know, you're so lucky I'm such a good person, Noah. I could get you into some serious trouble. Oh, yeah, I'm so lucky, Fartberry. Shut up! Uh, I told you idiot kids never to call me that. Well, you brought me back to school. Good job. All right, I'm going to class now. Gosh, Finkleberry always smells like moldy cheese. Disgusting. There you are. I'm not done with you, Noah. I said I was going to teach you a lesson. Seriously, Lucas, I've had a really long day. You crossed the line and now you're going to pay. Huh? I said stop it. Ah, my face.
face! My perfect face! What oh. on earth is going on over here? Noah, explain yourself. Did you just punch this kid? Started it, Finkleberry. I was defending myself. Yeah, you know what? I hate both of you. You're suspended from school. I'll give you 50k to not suspend me right now. Ooh, 50k? No! You can't bribe me! Shut up! You two are going to the principal's office. You're both in trouble. I wanted to thank you for earlier, you know, saving me and having your money stolen. There you are, Noah. What are you doing in this poor neighborhood? This is Ted's house, Dad. He's my friend. This is a house? I thought it was a storage shed for lawnmowers or something. Oh, well, look, you're in big trouble, Noah. I heard you got suspended at school. I was defending myself, Dad. He started it. Yeah, I don't care about the details. I do business with his dad. And now I got a mess to clean up because of you. I'm going to lose money. And it's all you, you ever care about is money. You never listen or understand. And you need to understand that trillionaires don't hang out with poor people. You're better than this. Didn't Hank teach you anything? Come on, get in the car. I'm sorry, Ted. Oh, it's okay, Noah. Don't worry about it. So you need to apologize to Lucas right now. I'm not apologizing. He's a total jerk. Why do you even care? I do business with his father, and it's important to keep that relationship intact. You don't care that his son picks on me and makes my life miserable at school? No, not really. You'll get over it. Now, come on, ring the doorbell. Get moving. Oh, someone's at the door. <laughs> Let's see who it is. Oh, Mr. Jones, what a surprise. Glad to see you. Come on in. I'm not stepping foot into your tiny house. My son's come here to apologize. I guess he was fighting with your millionaire son, whatever his name is Oh, there. you mean Lucas, of course. I'll fetch the little chap right away. What the heck, man? I don't want to do this. Yeah, well, deal with it, okay? Oh, great. What do you want, idiot? I'm in the middle of playing a video game. Just wanted to say, uh, sorry, Lucas, all right? I shouldn't have fought with you at school. You're sorry? That's it? You got me suspended too, loser. I hate you. And one day I'm going to ruin your life and have all your money. Can we hurry this up? Come on, I got stuff to do. You better watch your back, Noah. I'll get you back for this. Just wait and see. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. All right, everything's good. Little millionaire kid, go tell your dad everything's fine. Come on, Noah, let's go. What is your problem, Noah? Come on, seriously, you don't understand? What makes you think it's remotely acceptable to hang out with poor people? I'm allowed to have friends who aren't trillionaires, Dad. I'm sick of this obsession with money. I want real connections, real friends, and a real family. Money will always be your best friend, Noah. Have I taught you nothing? No, you haven't. Now, also, why all of a sudden do you want to just act like you're my dad? Hank's been more of a father figure to me than you've ever been. Is Hank the one who taught you how to fight people and associate with the poor? Did he fill your head with these nonsense lies? Hank's been there for me when you weren't. He cared for me like family. That's it. Hank, get in here. Yes, sir. Hank, you've done a terrible job at raising my son, and I can't look at you. You're fired. Dad, don't do this. Hank is like family to me. Hank is the worst. He smells terrible. He needs to leave now. See yourself out, Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. I didn't mean for this to happen. It's not fair. Noah, you've done nothing wrong. This is just how business works sometimes. Don't blame yourself. Business? Ha! Huh? You don't know the first thing about business. Well, I do know the first thing about caring for people. And you need to learn how to start being more of a father to your son. It's a shame to see someone so rich have such little self-respect. Take care, Noah. Hey, man, you ready to go? Yeah. Dude, this car is sick. Where'd you get it? Thanks, man. Yeah, I just got it the other day. My dad gave it to me. Uh, hop in. Let's go. Thanks for coming to this charity event, Ted. Just a heads up, though. These people can either be really mean or really boring. Yeah, no problem. I got your back. I guess it's all an experience, right? Yeah, you could say that. Man, my parents drag me to these things all the time. It's like a never-ending cycle. At least this one's for charity. Oh, look, Chase, it's the poor boy. Oh, poor people are real. What are you doing here? This event is for millionaires only. Actually, I was invited, Lucas. Yeah, back off, dude. Unless he's more genuine than anyone in this room. Oh, yeah? I'll have you kicked out of here so fast, and I'll have you banned from the yacht club. I can't believe you'd bring a non-millionaire to this party. It's unacceptable. I'm going to call security. Dude, this was a bad idea. I don't want to hang out with these losers anyways. Yeah, you know what, Ted? You're right. Yeah, this you better sucks. go. Get out of here. Sorry about how they act, Ted. I don't understand what really matters. No, they don't. I don't understand these billionaire people anyways. They live such shallow existences. I mean, being mean to others, it's not worth our time. Right, dude, it's not. I don't like go grab some food and hit the arcade. Yeah, that's definitely more like it. Let's go. Hey, I didn't know you were home already. Glad to finally see you guys. Oh, Noah, we just got off a flight from Dubai. So much shopping to do, you won't believe it. I really miss you guys. Wish you were home more often. Sweetie, I miss you too. 
It's just that our business and jobs keep us away from most of the time. Well, you're still gonna be home tomorrow night, right? Wait, I think, what is it, golf or something, right? We got something, right? Yeah, Dad, it's my birthday dinner, remember? You promised me last week you guys would come. Oh, right, I forget, that happens every year. I thought it was just the other day. Are you guys gonna show up? It's gonna mean a lot to me, please. How could we forget? Of course we'll be there, Noah. You have our word. Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Can't remember the last time my parents spent my birthday with me. I actually don't know when they ever have, really. Well, whatever. I feel like things are going to change. We're going to be together finally as a family. Well, four hours late, or they're not coming. I hope they're okay. Dad? Noah, sorry we couldn't make it to dinner, son. Some unexpected business came up, so uh, we won't be making it Dad, tonight. Dad, are you serious on my birthday? I'm always serious, Noah. I'm a trillionaire. Well, where's mom? Uh, I don't know. Italy or something. She had some trip or she had to go on. I don't know. Unbelievable. You guys are the worst parents ever. You know that? Oh, Noah, stop crying. Go buy yourself a new Bentley and call it a day. I gotta go. Man, I can't believe that they keep choosing work over me. Oh, maybe Ted will want to hang out instead. Yeah, sorry. It's just... My dad lost his job a while ago, and we haven't been able to pay for our house. My parents are making me move all the way across Roblox. What? No! Well, that's awful. You're moving away? Yeah, it really sucks. I don't want to leave, but it's like we have no choice. Oh, Ted, you can't go. My only friend. Look, I appreciate that, man, but we can't pay for this house anymore. It's over. Well, let me help. How, how much money do you no, need? No, we work hard for what we have, and it's not up for you to help my family out. I want to help, Ted. My parents have so much money. And they just spend it on stupid stuff. It's not fair you have to go through this. No, it's fine. My family is going to figure it out. Look, thanks for offering, though. I have to start packing. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, happy birthday. Thanks, Ted. If you ever need anything, let me know. Guess it's just me on my birthday. Well, it's not too late to get some food delivered. About time you showed up. It's been a week. Where have you been? Noah, it's none of your business, okay? I had important things to take care of. Important things? Maybe like uh, the promise that you made to me, Dad? Why don't you care? Of course I care, Noah. I have business to do. You see this house? You see all this stuff? Where do you think it comes from, bud? You always have pressing matters, Dad. You always have business. Why isn't your family a priority to you? I've given my life to give all of this to my family. Are you kidding me? What more do you need? Love! A real family! Maybe that's what I need, Dad. All this money can't place things that are missing. You asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I've decided. I want you to buy my friend Ted's parents house for them because they're about to lose what? it. What? No, absolutely not. Why would I do that? You have the means to make a difference. You have a watch that's more expensive than that house. Yeah, I know. It's nice, isn't it? I've got 15 of them. That kid's just using you for your money. I won't allow it. No, he's my only friend in this world, Dad. Make a new friend, bud, because uh, the answer is no. I won't entertain such ridiculous requests. Hey, to help a poor person. How absurd. Hey, I heard your stupid friend Ted's losing his house. Oh, hilarious, isn't it? It's not funny, Lucas. It's a terrible situation for Ted and his family. Boo-hoo. Maybe I should just buy it for fun and then bulldoze it. That would be a blast. You're a terrible person, Lucas. I'm not your bad attitude's gonna catch up to you. Y'all, this is Lucas Stilling. What do you want? Call about an exclusive party. Of course, count Telling me in. Telling your friends to call you so you seem popular? Cool move. Shut up, loser. Whatever. I'm going to go hang out with people who actually like me because I have real friends with money and homes. Those aren't your friends, Lucas. Their dads work for your dad. They just want to suck up to you. They don't care. You're just jealous. It's so insane. I really am going to buy your friend's house, by the way. And I'm going to tear it to the ground and watch your friend cry like a baby. Ha 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 ha. Whatever. Get out of here. And I can't let this happen to Ted. He deserves better than this. Lucas is the worst. Can't let him ruin Ted's life. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Jones. A pleasure to see you. What brings you in today? Look, I need to pay off a debt for a friend. I want to buy his house, but do I have enough money and stuff? Oh, we'll find out, sir. I'm here to help you out. What's the address you'd like to pay off? It's 21 Roblox Lane, and I'd like to pay it off in full, please. It says here that's going to be uh, $200,000, sir. 200000 I might have that in my weekly allowance account. Can you check? You actually have around $10 million in that account, sir, so I guess it'll cover the whole payment. Cool. Let's do it. Thanks, man. And if, you know, you're feeling generous and all, you could consider treating a helpful bank teller to a new Lamborghini or No maybe... way. I'm here to help my friend. All right. Fine. 
You just made a payment of $200,000. Congratulations. Your friend's house is fine. Awesome. Thanks. Means a lot. You're welcome, sir. You know, it's nice to see a member of the Jones family actually using their money to help people. That doesn't happen often. I'm not like my parents. Let's just keep this between us, okay? Because they're going to get mad. Yes. No problem. This will be our secret. All right, as soon as my dad calls, we'll crush the house down. Got it? Can't wait to tear this dumb thing down. Yeah, I don't care whatever you say, minimum wage loser. Just shut up. Lucas, are you out of your mind, man? You're too late, Noah. My dad is about to buy this place for me any second now. Yeah, well, he's not going to because I bought it myself. No, are you kidding me? No, I'm not. This property now belongs to me. Your bulldozer needs to leave immediately. Ugh, you stupid trillionaire. Well, this isn't over, Noah. You're going to regret getting in my way. Let's go, Gene. But we're not tearing this place down. Come on, I man. I said let's go, Gene. Hey, Ted, are you okay? No, not really. We had to move out, and now my family's stuck at this stupid motel. And this place sucks. The Wi-Fi here's awful. So what's up, Noah? What are you doing here? Look, I came to talk to you, but I need you to understand why I did what I just did. I bought your family's house. Now you don't have to what move. What the heck is wrong with you, what? Noah? Look, I thought you'd be happy. happy. that you can just justify giving away your money like it's nothing? No. I told you, I don't want your charity, dude. It's not charity, man. Plus, Lucas was going to bulldoze the house, and I didn't want him to treat you like that. You and your family needed help, and I could help you. What's wrong with you that? You just don't get it, do you? Everything's just given to you. You think money solves everything. I just wanted to help you out as a friend. A friend? Well, friends don't betray you other's trust. I thought I told you to leave it alone, but you went ahead and did this anyway. I'd be happy that your house didn't get bulldozed by that jerk. Well, I'm not happy, Noah. I don't need your money and I don't need your pity. Just go away. Noah! What's up, Dad? Why are you yelling? Why am I yelling? You spent all that money on that stupid poor people house? How dare you define me like that? That's a terrible business investment. That house sucks. It's my money, Dad, and my account. I can spend it however I want. You're always telling me to invest. I invested in a friend. I don't think that's a big deal. You've gone too far, Noah. You obviously are terrible at investing, too. I can't stand the way you act anymore. No son of mine is going to just throw his money away to the poor. I don't even know who you are anymore. How would you know who I ever was? You're never home. I'm all always alone. Stop whining. You're so ungrateful. You have everything in the world. Yeah, except for friends and family. Family should mean something, but ours is just money. You know what? Whatever. You can go make friends at your new school. School? What are you talking about? I've decided to send you away to boarding school in France to finish up schooling. Boarding school in France? I don't even speak French. Well, get learning, bud. Private jet's waiting for you right now. You're heading to France and that's final. See you in a couple years. Maybe you can learn a new attitude. Hello? Hello, is anyone home? Noah, glad to have you back, son. Didn't realize you were coming back today. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I'm happy to see you. I know it was rough when I left, but now I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too, man. That was France. It's actually kind of cool. I learned a lot about art and culture and the beauty of the world. Oh, and there was this one time oh, I- Oh, fantastic, Noah. Excellent. Can't wait to hear all about it. Come by my office when you have a chance and we'll go through it all together. What do you mean, Dad? Your office? You always said that was off limits. It is, but I think it's time you join the family business now. You're an adult. You've gained valuable knowledge during your time away. You'll be working with me, Noah, and that's final. Oh, working with you? Really? Oh, okay. Never thought I'd see the day. Absolutely. I can show you a thing or two about being a trillionaire. And I think it's important for you to be part of the decision-making process. You'll have a voice in our business meeting, son, and oh, speaking of business, gotta go. Glad you're home. Oh, well, may not be exactly what I imagined, but maybe this time I get to spend some time with my dad. Wow, is this dad's office? Kinda cool. Hello, and welcome to Jones Enterprises. How can I- Oh. I didn't know you worked here. Yeah, my dad got me the job after I graduated. What are you doing in this building, loser? No dumb babies are allowed in here. Well, I work here now. It's my first day, just like you. Except I earned my position. Oh, please. You only have this job because your daddy's in charge. You're nothing but a spoiled trillionaire brat. You and I are more alike than you think. No, we're not, Lucas. Oh, my gosh. Look, dude, it's time to move past our differences and focus on our responsibilities. You're just another rich kid living off your family's fortune. Maybe it's time you realize that people can change. Seems like you never will, though. Now, if you don't mind, I got a meeting with my father. <sighs> Whatever. There's no way I'm going to let this stupid punk walk in here and make more money than me. He's going to steal my fortune. Or so he thinks. <laughs> he won't last long at this job. I'll make sure of it. All right, Dad said to meet with his client not to be late. I can't believe I'm working for him, but you know what? I'm just happy we're spending time together. Oh, no, I can't control this. Ah!
Ugh, ugh. Noah? Noah, can you hear me? Ted, is that you? <laughs> yeah, buddy, it's me. You took quite a hit back there. I think I'm all right, just a bit disoriented. Well, you were knocked out for a while. Doesn't seem like you have a concussion, though, so I think you're okay. I'm like, are you a firefighter now? Yeah, I'm a firefighter. We got the call there was an emergency. I've been doing this for a while now. Oh, wow, that's great, dude. I'm happy for you. Look, Noah... I've been trying to get in touch with you for years, man. Yeah, man. After we got in that fight, same day, my dad sent me to boarding school. Long story, man. Sorry. Yeah, me too. We should catch up sometime. Fire in progress. All units respond. All units. Come on, let's go. Look, I, I gotta go. Duty calls, but I'm really glad you're okay. We'll, we'll catch up soon. I, I promise. Can't believe we're actually seeing each other again. I missed you a lot, dude. Yeah, I miss you too, man. It's great to be back in town. And uh, I want to apologize for everything back then. I was super emotional. I didn't realize how much you were actually doing for me and my family. I see it now, and I'm really sorry. It's all right, dude. I understand. It was complicated. I tried to apologize to you before, but I never heard back from you. I went to your house, and security chased me away. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, dude. Well, my dad took my phone and smashed it, and then I had to go get a new one, and I wasn't allowed to use it at the new school, so... Yeah, it was kind of stupid. I didn't really have a choice. I kind of just had to disappear. Your family got to keep the house, right? Yeah, we did. It's been really great for my mom and dad to not worry about one more bill. I'm really grateful for you, Noah. Look, I want us to be friends again, man. I miss you. You're my best friend. Miss you too, man. It's all water under the bridge. So, look, dude, how's it been being a firefighter? It's been great, but recently we've had a big setback. The fire department's facing a big funding crisis and we might lose our jobs. It's a tough situation and it's gonna put a lot of lives in danger. Yeah, dude, that's not good. What's the town gonna do without firefighters? They're important. Exactly, but now that I'm thinking about it, do you think there's any way you could use your connections with all those rich fancy people and get some charity for the department? Yeah, dude, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out. I asked you to do one thing, Noah, and you blew it. Dad, I'm sorry I blew that deal. I was in a really bad accident. Accident or not, Noah, you still should have shown up. I've closed deals with a broken leg and the flu. It's about getting things done no matter what. Oh, I was unconscious for a while. I couldn't have gone to the meeting. Excuses, Noah, excuses. This should be a good lesson for you. No matter what happens, you find a way to make things happen. You got it? Actually, Dad, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. I want to take some money and make an investment. Oh, now you're talking like a trillionaire. How much we talking? Couple million. I, I have my own account now, and I, I want to use that money to invest it, Dad. Well, son, you're starting to think like a true businessman, and I'm proud of you for taking this step. Thanks, Dad. I, I really appreciate your support. I'll make sure to do the best with this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, today's a big day for our community. We gathered here to express our deep gratitude for someone that showed tremendous generosity and made a significant impact on our fire department. I present to you folks, Noah Jones. He donated an incredible $5 million to our fire department. Wow! Noah, your donation really saved our fire department and our community. Well, it's the least I could do. Our firefighters risk their lives every day. It's an honor to support them. They're the true heroes. On behalf of the whole fire department and the community, I want to express our gratitude to you. Thanks, Chief. But it's not about me. It's about all of us coming together to make a difference. I encourage everyone to find ways, big or small, to support causes that matter to them. We can really create positive change, you know? That's true. Now, come on. We got some ribs smoking out back. Let's have a party. Ugh, rude. Way to just bulge in like that, Noah. Yeah, whatever, dude. Dad, do you want to see me? Some investment you made, Noah. I stand by it. I believe in making a positive impact. Well, that was stupid. What an idiot you are. See, sir, I told you he was an idiot. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, Lucas. Normally, I would think giving away money is foolish. It's my money, not anyone else's. But Noah, you're the first person in this company to do something truly good. The press is loving it. That's what you got out of this? Yes, the Joneses family is back in the headlines again. You taught me something today. Perhaps it's time we consider helping others and giving back. It could benefit our company in ways we never expected. Oh, wow, kind of glad to hear you say that, Dad. I never thought I'd see the day. Sir, you, you can't be serious. All right, shut up, Lewis. It's Lucas, sir. No, Lucas is kind of stupid. I like Lewis better. Okay, well, anyway, maybe we should celebrate this newfound perspective. How about grabbing some dinner tonight? Oh, actually, I, I would love that, Dad. All right, come on. Hey, Lewis, guy, uh, yeah, clear my schedule, all right? Me and my son are going out for dinner. Ugh, I can't believe Noah would do that. He made me look like a total bozo. Maybe, just maybe, this little turn of events will divert some attention. So I can continue my plans. <laughs> 
Hey, Thomas, what happened here? Isn't this Lucas Sterling's new house? Yeah, I don't know, man. Someone set fire to this place. It's a shame. This house is insane. Well, it was insane. Well, has everyone been okay? Where did Lucas go? Yeah, he's fine. No one was home, not even the staff. Nothing serious, probably just some electrical stuff or something. Well, that's good. I'm gonna go look around, though. All right, be careful. The structure might not be stable yet. Yeah, yeah, I got this. Lucas's house burnt down? This doesn't make much sense. Oh, the computer. This didn't burn in the fire? That's kind of odd. What is this? Oh my gosh. Lucas has been stealing money from the Joneses? Oh, that snot-nosed brat. Ugh! Noah needs to know about this. Hey, Ted. Noah, dude, you're not gonna believe this. I can't believe this. I am so mad right now. I've been telling you for years Lucas was no good, Dad. I know, Noah. I should have listened to you. I'm sorry I didn't believe you, okay? It's all right, Dad. I'm just relieved that you finally see the truth now. <sighs> Noah, I realized something important. I've been focused on myself and I've neglected what truly mattered. Honey? No, my family. I've let you down. I'm truly sorry for that. Wow, Dad, thanks for saying that. It means a lot. I have to tell you something. Lucas has not only betrayed our trust, but has stolen a significant portion of our assets. Have you heard from him at all? The police are actively pursuing the case. They said they've assigned the best cops and I got faith that they'll take care of it. Sorry our money was stolen, Dad. All right, son, it was an important lesson. It made me realize that without money, I'm not really much. And it got me kind of thinking about who I want to be. That's not the guy I want to be. I want to be a better dad. And I want to start caring more about this family. Oh, this worked perfectly. Goodbye, stupid Joneses. Thanks for the money. Oh. No more star beams. Put your hams in the air so you under arrest, y'all. What? No, please, you can't. No, I was supposed to make the arrest. This isn't fair. This was my moment to shine. Pinkenberry, you never shines at all, y'all, okay? This be my moment. No, it's mine. No, I'm not going to jail. Pinkenberry, go, get him. Now he's running away. Go. I hate running. You run so fast. Oh, oh no, my face. Yeah, see what happens when you call me fat idiot? All right, I have had it up to here, y'all. You under arrest, and that's final. Come on, idiot. You're going to jail. No.